Hello and thanks for checking out this video. I'm Russ Rogers and I'd like to show you a easy and fun to play slap bass line that will get you into the slap playing style of Victor Wooten. This bass line combines the techniques of using the thumb, double thumb, and popping the strings with the first and second fingers. So get your bass out and tune it up and let's get started. If you need help with the basic techniques used in this video, I invite you to check out my Slap Bass Masteries premium video series. Alright, we're going to start this bass line with a thumb on the 7th fret of the A string. And fret that note with your 1st finger. Alright, then the next note will be popping with a 3rd finger on the ninth fret of the G string. Followed by another pop note on the ninth fret of the G string with the 3rd finger of the left hand and popping with the 2nd finger of the right. Alright, our next note will be a down thumb on the 4th fret of the A string, followed by an up thumb on the 5th fret of the A string, moving our 1st finger from the 4th to the 5th fret of the left hand. And then popping the 7th uh, fret note on the G string with the 1st finger. And then for our last two notes of the first measure, a thumb on the fifth fret of the A string, followed by another pop one on the seventh fret of the G string. All right, so for our first measure, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Now the first two beats of the second measure are just like the first two beats of the first. All right, so that'll be one E and a, two E and a. Now for our third beat of the second measure, we'll start with a fifth fret uh, on the A string with the first finger of the left hand, up thumbing with the right. And then the next note will be a pop one on the seventh fret of the G string with the third finger of the left hand. And then a thumb on the seventh fret of the E string, followed by a pop one on the fifth fret of the A string. So for our second measure, one E and a two E and a three and four and. All right, now let's do the bass line in its entirety. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three and four and one. All right, now let's try the slow tempo track. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three and four and.
Now let's play it with a medium tempo track. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three and four and All right, time for the fast one. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three and four and. Thanks again for joining me today and I hope you had fun learning this bass line. Don't forget to check out my other free and premium videos and until then, this is Russ Rogers and I'll see you later.